Today we will talk about the SSH login and session management using AWS SSM and VPC endpoint. Okay, so uh, I have posted this link on my LinkedIn channel. Uh, I will uh, I will copy the link and 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 add to my uh, description as well too. Okay, so how to log SSH activity means like uh, uh, like if someone if some user is firing the wrong command and or if someone has deleted the folder okay so how we can track them okay so for this demo purpose i have created this some of the resources which 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 known as the ec2 interface endpoints system managers s3 bucket okay so if i go to this blog okay uh, so for this demo purpose i have used the vpc endpoint okay so vpc endpoint what it does means that that suppose you have a EC2 instance and that EC2 instance is, is in the private subnet okay that subnet and that VPC will not have the internet gateway and a NAT device or a or a virtual private gateway okay so the private link means that it will make a connection directly to the EC2 without without traveling uh, to the outside of a VPC okay this means that your managed instance will don't have the access to the internet okay apart from it we, we don't have to open the ssh port in our security group as well okay this is the interview question that uh, uh, can we log into the uh, ec2 instance using SS, ssm manager if uh, 22 port is not open in uh, ec2 security group yes we can we can take the SSL of our EC2 instance if 22 port is not open in our EC2 security group. Okay, so here are the few resources which we need to create. Uh, so like EC2, okay, so EC2 from uh, like, uh, so we have created one EC2 instance. We are using the Amazon Linux to AMI, which, which comes uh, with AWS system manager agent default. Okay, so we, we don't have to install the system agent uh, explicitly. Okay, so uh, while launching the EC2 instance, I have uh, I have associated EC2 instance with the Amazon SSM Manage Instance Core and Amazon S3 Full Access. Okay, so I have added this role because I, uh, I want to send the logs of my EC2 uh, users, uh, uh, the user which they log. I wanted to send the logs to the S3 bucket. That's why I have added the Amazon S3 Full Access. And Amazon SM Manage Instance Score I have added it because I want to take uh, I want to log in into the instance using AWS SSM. Okay, we can write our inline policy as well. But for the demo purpose, I have given the full access. Okay, so let's jump into the VPC endpoints. Okay, so what does VPC endpoint uh, say? So, so as I said that that we need a VPC endpoint which will help us to take the SSH of instances using AWS System Manager. Okay. And the and the flow of the traffic will will travel within the VPC. Okay, we we are not using Internet Gateway and NAT device for this um, VPC endpoint. Okay, one key point is we uh, we need to mention here that we need to allow the four four three inbound rule in our EC two security group. Okay, okay because. <clears throat> because of outbound traffic for my following endpoints okay so these are the five endpoints which we need to create so that i can use system manager to manage the private ec2 instance without internet access okay so we need to create the system endpoint system message endpoint ec2 message endpoint ec2 endpoint and sc endpoint okay so uh, so i have i have uh, written the all the steps here okay so you can choose the vpc choose the vpc id of your instance okay so i have uh, in the demo i have shown that how to create one vpc endpoint and similar that you have to create for the other vpc endpoints okay we need to repeat the just steps okay now now uh, we, we will uh, after creation of the five VPC endpoint which we needed for this demo after that we have uh, we uh, we have to go uh, this is our final step where we can figure our secure access to our Linux machine using the AWS system manager okay so we have to go there on, uh, we have to go to system manage service from there we have to choose a session manager then after choosing the session manager it will uh, 
give the screen we need to choose the piston page there and we need to configure the uh, uh, that send the session log to the S3 buckets okay and also we are enforcing the encryption address to my S3 bucket okay I have put it my S3 bucket name here after the like, logging is configured we can take the SSH of my machine okay so there are two ways to take the SSH uh, to take the SSH of the machine using the CLI command or GUI okay this is the CLI command and this is the GUI how we can take this okay we need to go to session manager then we have to click on the start session okay so as you can see right now that I am uh, firing some commands uh, MKDIR, CD, touch, RM, iPhone, R well okay so after terminating, terminating this session so let's navigate to our S3 bucket okay and confirm that that activity is being recorded or not okay so we can see that one log has been generated okay so you can see that if we download the log file so we can see that all our commands are are has been recorded in our S3 bucket okay uh, what we have fired uh, above in the session okay and now everything has been set up with other encryption enabled for my SC bucket and uh, in this way we can store the uh, logs of my users uh, user activities in, in our S3 bucket okay and this is a note I have made okay so if you want to uh, prevent uh, like uh, any secrets provided or generated during the session uh, they can be recorded in our S3 buckets or in, in the S3 logs okay so to prevent that uh, we can use this one sty hyphen echo the password sty echo okay so we need to provide this during the session yeah so, so uh, this is a link uh, you can go over through it and try and test it on your environment and uh, and comment me if you uh, if you get stuck in uh, in any step yeah like this channel subscribe this channel thank you